Huh. That's not quite working right. Give me a second. Thought I had it ready. I guess I didn't. There we go. It works. Good. And it's going way too fast. Give me a second. Let's let's fix that. There we go. All right. Mother 3. Uh now Mother 3 is uh the sequel to Earthbound. So if y'all haven't heard of Mother series, that's why uh in America it was called Earthbound and then it had a sequel. Earth Earthbound was Mother 2. Uh and in Japan and then they came out with its sequel Mother 3 which was never released officially in America. Hang on, let me uh fix this pixel filter here. There we go. It's going to look a lot better. You'll see it especially on the in the game screen how much of a difference that makes. But uh so this is essentially Earthbound 2 is what this is. Uh one of my favorite games of all time might be my favorite RPG ever. You know, a tie probably between this and Xenogears, which was a great RPG from Squaresoft right before Final Fantasy VIII come, came out. But uh, yeah, this was my first stream ever at Vine Sauce about six years ago, just over six years ago. So it's my first time revisiting it since then. Uh, so I'm really excited. It's gonna, it's bound to be an emotional stream. Not only because the game is itself is very emotional, especially compared to Earthbound which is also emotional, but kind of in its own way. Um, but not only that, because it's kind of a piece of fine sauce history. It was my first stream, and it was also Limes' first stream as well. So uh, if you watched Limes' stream, which you should, let me shout her out, um, then you also get a piece of her history there too. So we're gonna just jump in. I'm gonna be doing some voice acting, so, just some light voice acting. I don't know how heavy I want to go into it this playthrough. I went balls to the wall last time I streamed it. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I've actually streamed Live Alive Otter Slinger. It was pretty good. Not my favorite, but pretty good. Alright, uh, default voices? Or, sorry, not voices. Default names? Right? Dingus. Dongus. Dingus and Dongus. No, we're not going to do that. I lied. Oh, can I not go back? Oh, it, hang on. I think it lets you go back at the end. I want to go back. Let me go back. <laughs> I think it lets you go back. <laughs> Dingus and Dongus would be pretty memorable, but we're gonna stick with default names. The game is just too sacred to not do defaults. If if this was something I streamed once a year, then I might have considered it. I don't know. Do you guys want Dingus and Dongus? Do you guys want it? Or do you want defaults? What would you prefer? It's a pretty emotional game, so it's gonna kind of kill the emotions just a little bit. Just a little bit. Give us the dongle. Defaults. Default. Dingus and Dongus, please. <laughs> I think it'll get confusing. We need Dingus and Dongus. It's pretty close. Well, we'll do the straw pull. Just remember, if if Dingus and Dongus wins, oh shit, man! Video Game Warrior TV just subscribed. Thank you so much, my friend. 
Actually, Video Game Warrior, I found him one day streaming The Witness because I just follow game streams of, you know, games I like to watch, and The Witness is one. Turns out he's actually a really entertaining streamer. He was uh, streaming with, I think, with his sister at the time, and it was great. It was one of the best uh, duo streams I've seen in a while. I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to give him a shout-out as well. He's kind of a newer streamer, but he's a really great dude. You should definitely go follow him, too. Um, okay, straw poll time. Defaults or dong faults? Okay. All right, straw poll is up. Go check it out. Now, if Dingus and Dongus win, I'm not taking any responsibility. You have nothing but yourselves to blame for any emotions ruined by your choice. <laughs> the innovation was behind the game. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. I just put up a new screen region, but I do very much appreciate it, man. All right, let's check it out. Well, so much for dong faults. <laughs> All righty. I honestly, in my heart, I think I agree too. I think I'd rather have the defaults just because this game, if I'm gonna get serious with y'all for a second, this game really means a lot to me. Uh, it does, This it, it, this game gets me. Flint is the default dad name, and the beloved mother, the series namesake, the dog Boney. At least, whoa, excuse me, at least Boney's kind of funny. Am I doing a full playthrough? I sure am. My favorite food, here, I'll let you choose this, chat. Throw out some favorite foods and, um, and tell me why it's dongs. Dongs. No. Throw out some favorite foods. I want to hear them. I'm going to choose my favorite that I see in chat. So we'll, we'll customize it a little. We'll still have some fun. Spaghetti, memes, sushi, nug nuggets, nuggies. I like nuggies. Smegma, beefaroni, pizza pasta. P pizza pasta. Does that even fit? I do like nuggies. I think I'm gonna go with nuggies, but let's check pizza pasta. <laughs> Milk steak. <laughs> How much does it fit? Pizza past? P pizza. That's a word. Uh. Oh shit! Am I recording this? I hope so. Okay, I am recording this. Pizza past. Yeah, pizza past. That's it. Doesn't fit pizza pasta. So. Or nuggies or nuggers is the real question we have here. Yo, know, milk steak probably fits perfectly. It looks like it's just the right amount of le letters. Nuggie. Nug. Nuggers or nuggies? Nuggies. 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 Hang on, I didn't do that right at all. Alright, Nuggies is our favorite food. We love Nuggies. What's our favorite thing? Is it love? Is it really love? Hey, Dron. I enjoyed your blog post. I read it today. It kind of, it made, I'll be honest, it made me feel really guilty. <laughs> for not streaming more Spy Party. Our favorite thing, vine sauce. That's a great idea. Considering this is kind of somewhat a celebration of six years of vine sauce in a way. This is this was my first stream after all. I do like that. Vine sauce. It doesn't even fit. Ugh. Why you do this game? Vine sauce. Like that. Vine sauce. 
Fine, suck. Fine. V V sock. V sock. Fine, suck. Is Vine suck what you want, chat? Is that your final answer? Are you sure? I like how the dog is- they're all staring at us as judging. Like, what is this player thinking? Vine sack? <laughs> Kinda like Vine sack. That's pretty good. No. To be fair, this this response here, this does actually become a plot relevant thing, believe it or not. How about we just do love might? We, or we could do a home run. Or mock. Top spec. Mount Fuji. Camera. Watering. <laughs> Which is a strange favorite thing. It, it could have been gardening. That would have fit just fine, but no, it's watering. It's just watering. Doesn't matter what it's watering. What is top spec even supposed to be? Is my question. But you know, the fanboys got a fanboy. How about the the real reason? Why we do all this? Does video games even fit? Video gam. I think that's pretty perfect. Do you guys like video gam? Video gam. Can we can all settle for vid video gam, I think. Just vidya. Alright. Let's do vidya. Where am I going? I'm drunk. Okay. Vidya. We'll stick with vidya. You know, here's another vine sauce uh, fact. A little um, a factoid, if you will. Uh, vine sauce used to be known, and still, I guess, kind of is in some places. Vine sauce Vigia, like their website was. At, our website was actually www.vinesaucevigia.com. We got a video of uh, terrible Tim saying, uh, "Thanks for watching Vine Sauce video." Uh, that used to play on our autopilot back before Twitch existed. Our right, tech speed's gonna be fast, of course. Now, what window color are we doing? You know, I think I actually don't like any of the other ones, believe it or not. I think I'm going to stick with plain. Mint's not too bad either. What do you guys think? Peanut's okay. I think it's be between plain and mint for me. You know, I bet if you try vine sauce video.com it probably redirects to vine sauce peanuts pretty good yeah no it's pretty good actually they're all kind of nice i take that back i like them all but let's do some mint i like mint i never do mint yeah all right i'm engaging voice acting mode so you know bear with me it's not good welcome to the world of mother three Kick ass drums, clouds in the sky. Beautiful world. Nah, we did the default names. The game, I think, means too much to me to do anything otherwise. Nowhere Islands. UA asks, How much could I possibly recommend this game? 100%. With all of my heart, I recommend this game. If you like RPGs, especially if you like Earthbound. Oh, that halftime feel. It's so good. Is there going to be grinding? Not really. I don't remember the need to grind at all. There's a couple of tough bosses. If there's any spot where I'm going to need to grind, it's for the jealous base boss fight. 
but everywhere else tends to be pretty solid. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Ugh. The music, it gets me, man. It really does. Home of Alec, Nawa's father. Yeah, the, the mad composer guy, the ghost, is a little tough too. Every great RPG starts with, you know, the protag protagonist asleep in bed. Lucas, how long you gotta be asleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The Dragos brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! That's my Claw's voice. To be fair, I can't even hear it, I have headphones on. So, again, no responsibility. How is it that this game has reflections, but Deus Ex does not? Now it's bed. Klaus and Lucas is bed. No problem here. And check this out. Oh wait, oh no, I don't have access to it yet. I was gonna say there's a run button. Something they improved on over Earthbound. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Claus has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. No problem here. Boop, boop, boop. Fireplace is nice and clean. No problem here. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Sure. Oh, I should have said no. Why didn't I say no? Ah. I fucked up. I'm sorry, guys. You may recognize this kid from Smash Brothers as well. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Mer. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Oink! Don't worry about it. <laughs> oink, oink! But the pig next to me says worries me. He just said don't worry about it. Boom. Ow, I surrender, I surrender! Got some nut bread. Ooh, okay, cool. Give me more. Ah, oh, no more. Yeah, I didn't. I never knew that, Temp. Thanks for the heads up. And you can bump the chickens. Uh. Fire Emblem Brothers. Yeah. Can I do it to the cactus? Uh. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. The story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. This is what people refer to as saving. Now then, hop, save your game. Yeah, I sure do. And I'm probably going to keep a save state just in case, because I know that GBA emulation saving can be kind of fucked up sometimes. So. I will give my regards. Ooh, the game slowed down a bit up there. Weird. And I'm also going to put on a thing so I can see how the speed holds up. I don't know why it wouldn't, but uh, give me just a moment. Show speed percentage. There we go. Good enough for me. Yeah, this is VBAM. Bam! <laughs> I wish I had, you know, a mini, like, T Rex crocodile creature to, to run into. It's the weirdest thing I've ever said in my life. <sighs> oh, I'm beat! I've been play fighting the Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Sure. 
Here, try ramming into a Drago. Claws! Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second. Let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Claw, show him an example. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. You'll never succeed with such a soul look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> what about the baby? Uh. No? This Drago baby was just born recently. Alright. Uh. I ran it from the left. It's too late, man. I missed it. I'll do it right now. Is he gonna fall on his baby? Oh! Hey! Man, all these Easter eggs I didn't know about. Holy crap. I guess I did stream this shortly after it actually came out. Friendlier than it appears for now. Okay. The harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it. Move it out of the way! Make way for the great mole cricket! I love the little audio throwbacks to Earthbound. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way, you're in for a world of pain. Uh, yeah, Mole Cricket. By the way, how's the volume level, guys? I didn't check earlier. I forgot to do the combo. Can you even do the combo this early in the game? Okay, I guess that answers my question. Let me turn up my volume just a little bit. Okay. Okay, now, sometimes emulation with this game can fuck up your combos, just a warning. If I kind of drop the combos in moments I shouldn't, it's 100% the emulation. I'm perfect, you see. I never, I never lose tempo. So. I see you have more than a spine than I thought. If you like, I could trade you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> it's just the game's fault, yeah. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite, boys. Nuggies. Oh, lunch, lunch, nuggies! You too, Dad. Now then. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some nuggets too, I hope! <laughs> What's your favorite food, Ma? Oh, nuggies? Then your favorite's the same as ours? We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. Is that safe? I bet you even you could handle it, Lucas. 
Luke is like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> he got me. Okay. I gotta put on my, first, my best lady voice for this. <clears throat> Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Claus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems to be tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I've forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmilly Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. Next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Claus, Lucas, and I were, all, are, were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite nuggies right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. Someone sent you hate mail? Kyle? What'd they say? Holy moly. I <laughs> think that chow was supposed to be solid, not flashing. <laughs> oh well. Just like um, Shostakovich 4, like the first six notes of that melody, especially when it's Porky's theme version, the minor one, go listen to Shostakovich 4 sometime. You'll hear the resemblance. Beautiful music, though. Boom. Did you hear that? You like that explosion voice acting? Yeah. Yeah, try not to spoil. I mean, I know all the spoilers, so you can't spoil it for me, but if there's anyone in chat watching for the first time, uh, I don't want it spoiled for them, so try to keep spoilers out of chat. I appreciate it. Thanks. Now, one of the most interesting art style differences between this game and Earthbound is that Earthbound was very isometric. Like, a lot of the, the buildings and the streets were all kind of portrayed at a slight skew. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Now take note in this game how everything's kind of on a straight line up and down left and right grid. There's still a lot of curves, especially in the landscape, but like the buildings in particular, uh, and some character models and such. I guess the character models in Earthbound are straight too, but the point is mostly the buildings. They're all completely lined up up down left right in this as opposed to the skew that earthbound has and it kind of gives it a really different feel flint flint it's a fire a fire the sunshine forest is on fire and a huge fiery flamey fire and now we take control of flint one of the most badass video game characters ever Take a quick rest. <laughs> Let's ignore this guy at the door. I'm gonna take a save state just in case. Um, I think it's, was it shift F1? Maybe? Also just, uh, hang on. Give me a second. Save game, shift F1, okay. You're fully revitalized. You 
gotta do something! Quick! Flint! It's the forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez! Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! This will go on YouTube, Turbok. Ah! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Ah, doorknob! I mean, Flint! There's no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fire in Sunshine Forest! Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you! Please come, Flint! Please! No. Then I'll just have to drag you there myself! Thomas joined your party! I do also like how this kind of mirrors Earthbound a little bit with having different guests join your party really early on. I'll follow behind you. What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. Yeah, you should come along, Boney. He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Got a stick! Hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. I'll just hold on- just holding on to it makes it as useful as a caramel. Yeah. Really nice overhauled menu compared to Earthbound. I think during much of this playthrough I'm going to be comparing it to Earthbound. Like, comparing and contrasting. Also interesting, Thomas has an equip screen but you can't actually see anything he has equipped. In fact, I don't even think he ever really fights when he's in battle with you. can't even see his statistics. Hey, I guess I can't take Boney along right now. Hmm. Sheep are milling about restlessly. Yeah, the landscapes largely look similar, I think. You can even see the, like, the skewed present here, which is pretty much ripped straight from Earthbound. So I guess it's mostly just the buildings. Hey, buddy. Ah, Flint. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke. Thank you, Biff. <laughs> Who would ever name their kid Biff? Like, think about it. It's like the dumbest name you could possibly name someone. Oh, what a beautiful baby. Let, let's, let's name him. Let's name him Biff. Ah, Flint. The Sunshine Forest is on fire. Should I maybe give you a hand too? Yes. Oh, w wait! Um, I'm actually pretty busy, you know? I mean, uh, you know how it is. Yeah, the inventory system's still a little weak. It was weak in Earthbound too, it didn't really age well. The Funshine Saurus is on fire. The forest catches on fire, Claus and Lucas and Hanawa will be stuck out there. Uh oh. Biff should make like a tree and explode. <laughs> now isn't time for that. Thomas owns a bazaar. That's your opinion, butthead. Here's a lady that this lady references Earthbound. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with the grain of salt. That's just what kind of person he is. It's the voice I always heard of her when I was a kid playing Earthbound. There's, they're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village too. Thomas, what are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly now, you better not cause too much trouble for Flint. If you need something from map loving and map owning maps, and it must be a map, yes. Please, feel free to take one with you. Yay, got a map. You're worried about Lighter Shack deep inside the Sunshine Forest, yes? I marked that area in your map for you. Your map's been marked. Please hurry and see if you need help. Oh, whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? Check the map, you need to, uh... How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish. Oh, or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess do something, uh... R button-ish? Boom. Flint, took you long enough. Go check out the fire, quickly. Chop, chop. 
If the fire spreads to Tasmili Village, my honor, my estate, her eye will go up in smoke. Literally. Okay. I can't do the dink voice for too long. It just kills me. Literally kills me. Say frog. Please be careful out there. Okay. I'm gonna write three states in case I happen to lose one. Okay. Flint, the Sunshine Forest, which is west of the crossroad and past the prayer sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy. Oh, sorry, that sounds so explanation like. Eh, it's okay. I forgive you, man. Also, check this guy out. You heard that ringing in the background and probably just thought it was part of the music or something. But check him out. Here he is. Hey, leader! Leader! Can you see the fire from here? Hey, I said. Ah, she is as non talkative as ever. Mr. Flint, if you lose your way, be sure to check signposts and message boards. I'm telling you this out of kindness of my heart, just so you know. Okay. Doo -doo. okay. Flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But Old Lighter and Little Fuel are stuck in the forest. <sighs> No, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Quit it! Seriously, stop! Keep pushing it now, I'll be sick! Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again! If you keep this up, I'm gonna... Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing this stupid thing. Alright, see you, cuckoo banana. Have a good one. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. Got a minute? If you're ever out of strength or find yourself poisoned, a dip in the hot spring is best for what ails you. But it's important that you stay in the water for a while for it to be effective. And actually, there's a nice hot spring right inside the Sunshine Forest, too. Now to end this with a sparrow-like... Chirp Chirp. May the forest and people, and the animals and I, all have happiness. Oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. Let me save first. Please be careful out there. Next time I'm on the save screen, I'm gonna play the music. Because the save screen music's pretty good. Okay, let's do it. Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. No default for this. Okay, why? Okereska. Understood. Okay, why? Your name's KY, correct? Yes. Okay, then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you'll forget you were ever asked this question. Three. Two, one. Have you forgotten? No. You must forget. Yeah. Dingus McDongus. <laughs> Is KY short for anything? Nah. It's just KY. KY jelly, I guess. That's what's referencing at least, but. But no, not really. This is a big emergency, so I came to help out, but Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know. I'm not just some annoying onlooker. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big giant foresty fire. Yeah, an interesting thing that Okadiska, that happens when you enter a name or something in this game, that's actually, uh, what's his name? Shigesado? I always forget his first name, but it's Itoi's voice. They actually secretly recorded him in the office saying that, and then they used it as a soundbite. I'm not lying. It's, it's actually true. And it kind of fits. It's, it's really interesting. Flint, thank heavens you're here. I think Lighter and Fuel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. You just hurry and find them. Shigasato. Okay, so I did say that right. 
Or at least I got the name right. I didn't necessarily pronounce it right. <coughs> oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. <laughs> this smoke is terrible. And with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please let it be of use. A nut cookie. Oh. Bat time. I like the, the riff on Batman in the music here. Or at least it's in the intro part. Seven hits. Oh, damn it, Batty. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the translators. For those that don't know, like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, this game never properly came to America. Um, all of the translation that I'm reading, all of the dialogue, literally 100% of it, was due to uh, a team of fan translators and man they did a killer job like it's just phenomenally good where are poisonous snakes there should be antidotes around here somewhere By team, we mean almost just one, but with a little help. I'm pretty sure he got a decent amount of help. It was primarily led by Tomato. It's the guy's, like, moniker, I guess. Aries bracelet. Let's equip that. Yeah! Defense up. A bracelet of the Aries zodiac sign. Ooh, listen, the music got weird. Ooh. Weird. That's an odd glitch, huh? Really odd. Let's listen to this music for just, you know, 20 seconds or so. Isn't that weird? Like, such a strange uh, save point theme. Really bizarre. No need to rush. Five seconds for you need Kakori Spring Water. Whoa! <clears throat> An extra syllable. Chirp, chirp! Spare advice. Some people always try to avoid fighting when there are enemies around. You know the type, right? They use a dash ability to zoom right by. I guess you could say they're followers of peace at any price. Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying that's how you are or anything. I just think if you keep running away from everything now, later on when you have to fight, you'll have a really tough time because you lack experience. Always running off will only lead to regret, my young disciple. Please keep this in mind. Now to end this with a sparrow like. Chirp, 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 chirp. Yeah. There we go. The background noise, probably just Carrie. She's walking around. Kokori Hot Spring. Yep, same thing. Where could Isaac be? Isaac! Ooh. Mr. Batty. Ah, oh, almost got the 16. Hmm, the frame rate's a little unstable. Not sure why. As long as it doesn't fuck with the game too much. Oh, Flint! 
God, breathe in too much smoke. Lantern and sun fuel still aren't back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. Don't worry about me. Go help them. Am I gonna get all the backsides of the enemies? What do you mean? I mean, obviously, I'll try to get their backs when I can. Whoa. Oh, I forgot that you can actually run through those. Interesting little touch. It doesn't even come into play too often, but occasionally it pops up. Well, most of the attack patterns are just to the beat, but there are some that are oddly on there, like uh, they're off the beat or on a different instrument to the same song, or even just some really strange time signatures later on, like the mirror, uh, the mirror trio, or what are they called? No, the barrier trio. I'm sorry, the barrier trio have a really strange time signature thing going on. So. The Yam Monster. There we go. And a lot of times, even when the music gets funky, you're just supposed to stay at the tempo that was already established. So there's also a lot of times like that where it seems harder than it is. Yeah, there we go. Let's now level eight. Woohoo! I think you kind of need to level up a couple times, or the first, or once or twice, or that first boss kind of hands you your ass. Yeah, the HL Rondos are really cool. That moment when you kind of pause and listen to the beat and prep for a huge combo, and then you just kill them on the first hit. My biggest um, tip for doing the combos is to do your menu selection at the beat as well, so you just seamlessly go into being on the beat. Uh, that's one of my biggest tips for hitting the combos when you're just selecting the attack option, just to start on the beat. Let's see if there's any presents or anything over here. Yeah, check that out. Not bread. Let's check our healing items while we can. What is my max HP anyway? So I could probably eat the cookie. Alright. And yeah, sometimes comboing is tough with the emulator as well. So. Lighter! Hey, Lighter! You alright? Flint. Oh, and Thomas. Damn it! <coughs> I try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. I can't get past them. Well, I'll finish the job. I think the combo system makes a pretty big difference, but you're right, it's not totally necessary either. What is that thing? A bug? Dunno. They're going around the forest lighting fires. And never mind that fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's still in your shack? Flint, you go help fuel. I'll look after lighter. Never seen a bug like this before. Lighter's lumber. Flint, if you're gonna use that lumber as a weapon, be sure to equip it first. Yeah. Lighter's lumber. Fuck. It's kinda like, yeah, it's a firefly. They start fire. Let's see fireflies. Damn it. 
See, and there I fucked up. Now I pay the price. So much fire. Oh, that didn't matter anyway. Do I have a special move? I believe I do. I have a couple. Like, I could toughen up. Now, stat ups and downs, I feel, are a lot more important in this game compared to Earthbound. Like, they existed in Earthbound, but they didn't really make a huge difference. Like, I almost ignored them entirely. In this game, they make a massive difference. Oh, as I take the same damage, so whatever. <laughs> So I can do it in one attack on each one as long as I get at least a three combo. I'm pretty sure all the early songs don't have double taps or anything. It's only once you uh, encounter that song on a later game enemy that it changes up a bit. Translators add a hidden hard mode, really? I didn't know that. Frog! Okay. Help! Ah, oh, it's fuel. And fuel's dead. Just like that. My favorite song in this game is probably Barrier Trio. I remember the, the rhythm really well, and it's very cool, and it was very satisfying when I actually picked it apart. Boom. So I'm pretty sure I have to fight this guy whether I run into him or not. Yeah. Alright. This one I need to listen to a second because the intro, I hear it on a different beat than where it actually is until the song kicks in proper. It's like a weird mental thing. Yeah, and even still I fuck it up. Even just getting two hits makes a big difference. I think you need to be slightly ahead. There we go. Easy. Yeah, that fight's a lot easier if you can combo at least a little bit. The thing is with the combo system, every subsequent hit, or at least like the first five hits, it gets like, it, you see diminishing returns like to huge amounts. So you might get like 70 on the first hit, and then you'll get like 30 on the second, and then like maybe 10 on the third, and then it's just all, you know, between one and five for the rest of the hits. So, getting massive combos isn't super necessary. It adds up if you do. Uh, but really, even just getting two hits increases your damage a ton. Which mother game do I prefer? I think I do prefer three, although it's really close. Oh no! Ugh. Flint. Such a badass. Well, it's 250 songs, but a lot of them are variations, you know, to make them harder for different enemies. There we go. Three is a lot more linear than two. I mean, even 2 is pretty linear, but way less linear than this one. This one you can't really deviate at all. Or at least in Earthbound, especially late game, you get to travel around a lot. Um, better battle themes, Earthbound or Mother 3? I think I am going to say Earthbound, but this one, the interactivity really makes up for it. Wah! I pitch back and black and covered in soot, but I'm alive! Oh, you're Pitch Black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Thank you so, so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh, yeah. We need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. 
probably is. I have played Mother 3 a number of times before. And yes, I'll go to the hot spring. <laughs> Actually, I don't really need to fight right now, do I? Because I don't think... Do you even use Flint again after the first chapter? I can't remember if you do. No bread. I know a lot of Easter eggs, but I'll admit I don't know them all. Yeah, the, the comboing has been way easier on this than in past streams of it. I used to struggle in the first couple chapters before I would properly adjust to the emulation lag. Um, but right now I've been rocking the combos, so I guess uh, it's just working out. Yeah, if you know the really obscure easter eggs, feel free to tell me, but if I happen to miss your message or... Um, or I don't do it, just don't worry too much about it. Don't make it a big deal or anything. Because I'm probably gonna miss some. Do I have the Mother 3 soundtrack? Or, oh, Handbook! Yes, I do. It was actually a gift. My girlfriend gave it to me, I believe, for Christmas one year. It's either Christmas or my birthday, one of the two. Actually, no, I think it was, it was my birthday, because I think I remember getting it in the summer. But I'm not 100% certain. I don't know. I just know it was a gift. But yeah, it's a really cool book. Alright. Time to get fresh. <laughs> I just had someone named Tendakraut follow me. Which is kind of an Earthbound reference. Also, look, their faces are still covered. But their bodies are clean. I love it. Mother wants a couple really weird things in it that don't appear in the other games, like just completely ridiculously large and empty wilderness areas. Really? That's odd. Huh. Really strange. An old man will show up in hot springs very rarely. How do I summon him? Do I just exit and enter the screen a lot? Is that the easiest way to get him to show up? Oh, wait, it isn't. <laughs> it's an Earthbound reference. Okay, just making sure. Or an Earthbound reference. He appears random. It has to be... He's, it's very random, very rare, I guess. So, I'll do three more times. One. Fuck. Two. And... Three. Nope. I guess he'll show up at some point. If we're lucky. Now isn't the time for that. Uh, wow, you're really pitch black. <laughs> you think you saw him? Oh, really? Did I miss it? He'll show up at any hot spring. Gotcha. I will be streaming the whole game. Yes. I'm doing three quills this month, so I did Silent Hill 3, now I'm doing Mother 3. After this is Metal Gear Solid 3 and then Link to the Past at the end, which of course is Zelda 3. Flint, you're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're alright. Being a responsible man I am, I managed to bring lighter here. Hurry and let him see fuel. Dad! That voice. Is that you, Fuel? You alright? What the? What, what in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in soot. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg! Aw, oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist this like so and do this and... Ah, uh, 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 sorry! Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyway, we sure are lucky Flint showed up when he did. 
Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. <laughs> From Brooklyn? That, that was nowhere near Brooklyn accent, but if you say so. Thanks, Flynn. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. Did I say something in a, in a Brooklyn accent? I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. Aha, you're right. The only thing that could make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. Way to go, Bronson. You just had to open your stupid mouth. And now it's starting to rain. Let's just hope this rain puts out the fire. We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. Yeah, flint, fuel, and lighter. You see a theme here? Defeated by a, a forest fire. There you are, Flynn. You're all patched up now. Thanks, Tessie. The back of her apron, like the tie part, looks like a skull. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Tasmania just had rain. Last had rain. Flint, please get some nice rest. Hmm. Talking about some suspicious people with pig-like masks on. Those bastards. It turned the forest pitch black. And you, Flint. You wound up pitch black too. And covered in soot. He didn't mention that. Come on, Dad. You really need to rest now. Helping others out. Being helped by others. Helping others out. Well, how you like it, Flint? Isaac said he was going into the mountains to pick mushrooms. I hope he's alright. Do we ever see this Isaac kid? Or is it just implied that he beefed it? Because I don't remember him ever actually showing up. Uh, now I forget, how much is left in chapter 1? I can't remember if chapter 1 is one of the short chapters or one of the long chapters. Because I know it goes back and forth a bit, and then chapter 7 is like half the freaking game. You do see Isaac? Okay, I remember him. He's the guy in red with the beanie. Oh, that guy! Yes, I do remember him. This is a longer chapter. Okay. I gotta go then, unfortunately. I would love to do more. But uh, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I remember you run into... Um, into uh, Duster's dad, whose name I forget right now, Wes, I think. And he gives you the staples, and you climb up, and then that's when you run into the kids, right? Something like that. It, there's still going to be a bit. Um, am I coming out tomorrow? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow, and it's going to be a 12-hour shift, followed by another 12-hour on Wednesday, um, followed by opening for a half day, which for me is six hours. So it's going to be a busy ass couple of days where we'll see how tired I am. Um, if not tomorrow, at the latest, I'll be back on Thursday. So keep an eye out for it. We'll do some more Mother 3. Um, there's some other stuff I want to do some more as well. Like I need to, um, I want to do some more Black Watchmen once or twice because that was pretty fun. And of course, we need to revisit VR. We have more job sim to do, more tilt brushing to do. Uh, some other games that we just haven't even played yet to do. We haven't done Minecraft, the Vive mod, so definitely want to do some VR. Uh, let's check the art. Let's check it out. Okay. Why? There is no new art, unfortunately, but guys, if you ever do any fan art, upload it to the Boru, and make sure you tag it KY, and if you do, I'll show it at the end of the stream 100% of the time. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. It was it was a pretty fun stream. I love Mother 3. And of course, Silent Hill 3 was great. I'd never played it before. So I think that was a great choice to kick off threequel month. Layers month, Metal Gear Solid 3. And uh, 
Zelda 3. Okay, guys. I'll see you. Luck if you're lucky, I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you in a couple of days. So stick around. Findsauce.com. Hit up the forums. Check out the other streamers. It's always a great time. Charity stream soon. Keep the eye out for it. Last last year we made fifty-five thousand dollars for Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation. This year, hopefully, we can smash it. All right. I'll see you next time, y'all. Have a good one.